All right, so this is uh, my latest video. I wanted to make it uh, concerning my. Uh, I added uh, an eight-cylinder EGT setup to it. You can see them. See them. I got them here. Um, got one on every cylinder, both sides of the motor. And the reason I added that was because uh, recently at the track, um, I burned up uh, two pistons. You can see one of them here is pretty. Looks pretty toasty. Um, so I wanted to avoid that. I'm running a rear mount turbo and I've been, just been trying to figure out how to make everything work. So I've had some different issues and that was the latest one. And, uh, so anyway, all right. So I added that and what I wanted to show you that was, uh, the, um, my shadow dash, I got shadow dash working, which is, uh, by EFI analytics. And, uh, this is the shadow dash. So my EGTs, they, uh, they show up here. I got a, I created a, a, a dash to go on the shadow dash and I think it's I think it's pretty cool I mean you can you can see everything if you're at the drag strip or if you're just cruising along uh, you can watch them and uh, you know decide what what you need to do tuning wise and um, so shadow dash is pretty cool you just flip your screen like that yeah I think you have three there's three different dashes I think I don't think I don't think you can get more than that I'm not sure but um, but I mean, it's just a matter of flicking the screen and you get a different dash. It's uh, pretty cool. So, um, and the reason they, so the way, the way that works is, um, EFI source, <clears throat> um, now they, they make the, uh, mega squirt gold box controller that I'm using. And they also recently developed a, uh, eight by eight CAN bus module that, um, interfaces with the EGT sensors to the, Mega squirt, and I just want to show you that real quick. It's up under my dash. It's right here, and uh, yeah, so it it, it hooked up uh, pretty easy. You have to make some make some, you know, do some stuff in Tuner Studio and wire it up and all that kind of stuff. But it it wasn't very expensive. I think it cost me the EGT setup. The, now they sell the module, but they don't sell the sensors. So I bought the sensors off an of, off of Amazon, but I spent. Uh, like seven hundred dollars for a whole setup, and uh, of course I had to have the bungs welded into the headers. Um, so anyway, that's how that works. Now to make this dash, you have to go to uh, Tuner Studio, which is um, Tuner Studio is uh, yeah, EFI Analytics also. So you create the dash in Tuner Studio, and uh, and then you just copy copy that file of that dash and transfer it to the, the Shadow Dash folder in the in the right location and uh and there you go so um you can see how now you can see it doesn't quite transfer perfectly you can see how number eight is overlapping number six and it doesn't here so you have to finagle the you know the way the screen looks so it all turns out right so um and then some of the other cool things about it is um like recently you know i've got the under here under advanced uh engine if you go to EGT thermal couple settings, um, this was cool. I just I just got this working yesterday. Um, the uh, you can set it up so that uh, if you turn it on, you can set it up so that if the temperature goes over a certain level, it'll shut the engine off or it'll add fuel. There's a couple different things you can do there, and uh, so it, it happened yesterday. I just had just turned it on. I took it out for a ride, just cruising around. It was interesting to see how hot the cylinders get uh just cruising and uh so you know making some adjustments but it actually did shut the motor down you just shut it off for an instant i think you can adjust the amount of time here um so i'm going to have to make some uh anyway make some adjustments there and make some adjustments to the fuel and you can do uh you know data logging as you're driving i've got a, a data log button up underneath the dash right here i just just to uh, just tap it tap right there hold it for a moment and it starts data logging and you can take a look at your data log so that's some of the pretty cool stuff and uh, i guess if you have any questions or interested in in, in any of this stuff uh you can reach me at uh never enough never enough performance.com it's an addiction and uh you know you probably all know what i'm talking about when it comes to racing you always want to go faster so we're uh we're getting closer to going faster. So anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.